Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're talking about W4 Games again. Now this is a commercial company designed around the Godot ecosystem. It was actually built by uh, some very key players in the Godot world. So you've got uh, Juan Linietsky, the lead programmer on the team, basically one of the two original founders of the Godot project. Uh, we've got Remy, the community lead, and so on. So we definitely have uh, some big names in there. Uh, and up till now they've had one major product that we've known about, which is the W4 console support. This is a uh, set of tools for making it easy to port um, Godot games to major consoles. Uh, it is licensed on an annual basis. Uh, we've talked about that one in the past, but what we're talking about today is instead their other product, which was just released as an open beta. This is a free and open source product, by the way. We'll get back to exactly what I mean by free in just a minute. Uh, but this is W4 Cloud. This is a technology layer powered by open source technology designed for developers seeking to seamlessly integrate multiplayer functionality to their project. That's the idea behind it anyways. Basically, it provides that cloud stuff for your game. Uh, and if you want, you can basically have them run your servers. That's where the money comes in. But if you want to host your own servers, this is a free and open source project. So you can host them yourself as well, which is definitely a nice thing. So that's what we got today. So the W4 cloud has been announced. This is the official announcement for the cloud. Uh, so it's here, new multiplayer infrastructure for Godot games. It's been in development for two years. Uh, this is the first beta release of W4 clouds. It is an open source backend for online and multiplayer games optimized for the Godot engine. Uh, it's built around the same concept as Godot, simplicity and flexibility. Uh, so the simplicity side of things, backend is designed to not get in your way. Instead, you focus on developing your game, adding the network functionalities you need when you need them. Uh, the SDK lets you set up your project in a few clicks with an editor plugin that lets you uh, interact with the back end, including exporting and uploading your game servers. Now, I'm not going to go hands on with this particular thing. Demonstrating multiplayer stuff is always a nightmare for a YouTuber. Uh, but if you guys want to see this in more depth, let me know in the comments down below. Potentially, I could do a hands on thing. Uh, so, yeah, it sets up very easily. Uh, then the flexibility. So they don't dictate which network technology you use for your multiplayer games. Provides out of the box support for the Godot multiplayer API, which can be integrated with most third-party solutions. Uh, you have full access to the back end. You can add custom data, add server-side functions, and expose them to your game, all protected well fine -grained with fine-grained access control. And it is scalable and open source. So the back end is based on scalable open source technologies such as Supabase and Agones, uh, with an optimized workflow for game development, which you can customize to meet all your unique game requirements. So the default features include player authentication and authorization, public and private user lobby system, automatic matchmaking with configurable profiles, auto-scaling dedicated servers, customized database for game data, user profiles, achievements, etc., and storage support for DLCs and large files, cloud saves, DLCs, etc. Uh, so do keep in mind, uh, the, the Unreal Engine offers this. Actually, Unreal has it completely free for whichever game engine you wish to use. And Unity also offers a Unity Cloud as well. So all three of these game engines now offer these cloud services. Um, it is, again, free and open source. You can get early access, influence development, make your own games faster, all the benefits. You apply there at that link. You don't need to, by the way. You can get access to it uh, much easier than that. Uh, so this is a new multiplayer infrastructure for Godot games. I don't know why this slide is here. It doesn't. It's almost like it was like copy and paste and then just never removed. It's like a vestigial feature. Uh, but yeah, that's what it's all about. These are the kind of features and functionalities that W4 Cloud is all about. Uh, so if you're interested, you can just head on over here. I will have all the relevant links down below. So if you want to go ahead and grab this, but this is the homepage for W4 Cloud. You do not need to sign up or anything. All you need to do is click this download. It is a zip file that will bring it down. But if you want, you know, more interaction with them, you can sign up for the beta, get earlier releases and that kind of stuff. And then you can see here various different downloads. You can do self-hosting. Uh, in the future, the way that W4 Games is going to monetize this, quite obviously, is going to be by doing hosting. So if you don't want to take care of all that crap yourself, and there's a lot of reasons why you don't want to run your own servers, uh, W4 Games obviously will do it on like a, a software as a service type um, approach. But at the same time, you can use this. You can run, uh, host it yourself uh, if you've got the capabilities and technology to do so. The documentation is online, although I do have to warn you right up front, quite a bit of this is actually still pretty stub. So again, if you want to learn about the database, for example, uh, and you can actually click in the right spot, you're going to find it, it's it's stubbed in. So you're going to want to stick to like the, the getting started areas. You're going to have quite a bit there. At the same time, there is a tutorial here that has quite a bit of depth on here. So if you want to learn how to actually, you know, host it, how it actually works, an overview of the entire uh, networking setup, that is all available there. So probably this is where you want to start if you want to figure out exactly how it works, uh, how to do lobby setup and uh, run things and how ultimately all of these things will work for you. Again, if you want to host it yourself, there is documentation in here as well, although you're going to find... Uh, Again, 
I think, okay, so this is actually up and going, which is nice. So uh, you're going to find a decent amount of stuff in here is actually stubbed out. You can get an idea of the uh, the function calls here uh, and, and what is called the various different life cycle. Obviously, you are using GDScript for a, a GDScript API for everything. I do not know if it works with C Sharp. That wasn't actually implicitly mentioned. Uh, I would assume it was, but you know what they say about assumptions and all that stuff. So um, yeah, decent documentation, although do be prepared that uh, you're going to find uh, quite a few stubs in here right now. So where you're going to want to start is in this tutorial section where you've got a full rundown of exactly how everything will ultimately work. And then uh, beyond the documentation, properly zoomed in now, you will find uh, a pretty good breakdown of some stuff here. So the SDKs are all available right here. So the uh, cloud support documentation and so on. The cloud itself is here in various different pieces. So for example, the matchmaker portion is available here. Now, one thing you really want to notice about this stuff, this is like the W4 stuff. The W4 cloud stuff is all being released under the GNU AGPL license. Um, as long as you don't touch the server code or change it in any way, this won't impact you. Uh, just be aware, um, the GPL license definitely has some issues with it. It's an effective license. So if you're making any changes with the source code, uh, you're going to definitely want to be aware of here because you're going to have to commit those changes back. So it's one of those things to know about how this guy's released. Most of the stuff is released under the GPL license, uh, but the W4 cloud stuff itself is actually being released under the AGPL uh, v3. So do look into the limitations of that license. One of those things you're definitely going to want to be aware of. Another great place to start if you're interested in checking out more is here in the public demos. So you can see here you've got um, a, a complete example project actually showcases how you would uh, uh, integrate with this guy. So it is a Godot project, you know, typical scene in here. Here is your entry point and so on. And then you can see how to actually connect to servers, how various different pieces work, the various different uh, signals and callbacks that are available. Uh, and obviously it is a full uh, game. So you break down and find more details of what it's all about there. So if you are looking to see exactly how this whole W4 cloud thing works, uh, this is probably your starting point for things. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The uh, W4 Games, W4 Cloud, basically, again, a full networking solution, uh, front-end, back-end server, examples, documentation, etc., for doing multiplayer games. Again, uh, things like matchmaking, uh, all, all the breakdowns right here. So again, player auth uh, authentication, authorization, public and private lobbies, automatic matchmaking, auto-scaling dedicated game servers, uh, database on the server side back-end for things like user profiles and achievements, and storage support for DLCs and large files. Again, if you're going to host it yourself, this is free and open source. Do keep in mind that the server side is under that AGPL v3 license. That's going to want, uh, you're probably used to MIT when it comes to all the Godot projects. So you're really going to want to look into what that means and what that means to your project. Or of course, you can just pay them money and they'll host it for you. You don't need to deal with your own servers, etc. And that's the business model here. I have no idea what this will actually cost uh, to, to use them from their end, software as a service wise. Uh, I'm guessing that that will probably be announced at GDC this year. But again, that is purely a guess. So that is W4 Cloud uh, networking solution for Godot. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.